A very useful button on this Casio calculator, I think, is this log function here. It allows me to get the log of any number to any base. So I'm just going to press it here. So it will allow me choose the base and choose the number. Now, why would I want to use this? Let me give you an example. Supposing you were told that 2 to the power of something, I'll call this something n, is equal to 16,384. And I want to work out, well, what is this power n? What number would I raise 2 by to get 16,384? Well, I can use uh, this function to answer that question. Because the log of a number is the power to which the base has to be raised to get that number. So this means that n is equal to the log of the number 16,384 to the base 2. It is very easy to get the answer to this using this function. So I want my base to be 2. So I type in 2. I'm going to use the arrow key so I can write in the number 16,384. And when I'm happy, I press equals. And I can see the answer is 14. I can use the calculator to check if this is true. Is it true that 2 to the power of 14 is 16,384? Well, there's this second button on the calculator which allows me put any base to any power. So is it true that 2 to the power of 14 is 16,384? So I type in 2 and to the power of 14 equals. And I see, yes, it is true. This log function might have many other applications. It is particularly useful, perhaps, in financial maths when we want to work out the value of t time, which is a power in the future value formula. I should point out that there are two other log functions on the calculator. The button that says log is log to the base 10. And this button here is ln, which is the natural log, which is log to the base e. But this function here is more useful than any of these because it allows me to get the log of any base I wish.